It was a rare move indeed, but Cleveland Catholic Diocese Bishop Richard Lennon sat down for a television interview. He has not granted many interviews since he took the position as head of the local diocese, but tonight, as we approach Christmas and all that it means, he opens up in my Ohio. Tonight, Bishop Lennon speaks on Christmas and other things too, among them his controversial decision to close some Catholic church buildings. Cleveland Catholic Diocese Bishop Richard Lennon walks with a sure step through St. John Cathedral. In his words, they are steps ordered by God. During a time together, he and I talked on many subjects, among them Northeast Ohio poverty, especially its effect on children. Children today writing to Santa Claus are asking for a job for their parent. It's almost like they're taking on a responsibility that's beyond their years. The area's troubling economic situation tugs at him. His is a tough job leading the Cleveland Catholic Diocese. Since 2006, when Richard Lennon was assigned as bishop in Cleveland, there has been controversy and questions, much of it centered on his order to close many low attendance Catholic churches. From Boston, he did it there too, even closing, in his words, his own parish. Years later, he acknowledged the Cleveland closings pained many, including him. So many significant events have happened in people's lives in a church building. I mean, that's where they may have been baptized or they made their first communion. I know a lot of people uh, you know, are not pleased, and yet the vast majority, because of their faith, have continued on in new settings. Ordained a Catholic priest in 1973, Bishop Lennon of the Cleveland Diocese spoke of what first inspired him to walk the steps of a priest. When I realized that God was asking me to be a priest, then it was my task to embrace it. And I, I, I believed that at 18 and 20 years old. He is steeped in the church. His assignment to Cleveland came from the Pope. The Vatican asked Richard Lennon to go to Cleveland. And I said, if the Pope asks, I go. And I came. Could you have said no? I mean, well, uh, on, you know, uh, no, I, no, I couldn't. Bishop Lennon grew up in the Boston area, but Cleveland is home now. Here, his work is more than full time. There are 740,000 members of the Cleveland Catholic Diocese in eight Northeast Ohio counties. To be bishop here is to be more than the spiritual leader. It is also the running of a multi-million dollar nonprofit operation. For Bishop Lennon, there are many tugging at his robe. Leading the Catholic school system, approving any diocesan contracts of $25,000 or more, life in the bishop's chair. And interestingly, under the same roof of St. John Cathedral is the mortuary, burial spot for Cleveland bishops. Hours before Bishop Lennon officially took the Cleveland position, a nun showed this place to Richard Lennon's family. And she took them in here, and she said, and that's where they're going to bury him. <laughs> You're going to bury your spot. <laughs> no, I hadn't even <laughs> taken over. <laughs> And it was decided that's where I was that's going. <laughs> well, how does it feel to look at that? Spot? Well, at least I know where I'm going to be. <laughs> A time to laugh. There are times for many things, he said philosophically. For this Christmas time, his prayers for all are to the point. To have everlasting happiness. That's God's wish. That's why we have Christmas. A time with Richard Lennon. Bishop of the Cleveland Catholic Diocese. In my Ohio, I'm Leon Bidd. I should say that the bishop also said each person in the community, regardless of religious faith, has to find out what is really significant in the community and work to solve problems. We are challenged to be a part of the solution, he said. On this night before Christmas Eve, his words of giving were these. It is in giving, he said, that we receive. Continuing, we think when we give, we get nothing. Point of fact, said Bishop Lennon, we get more. 